people always try to discredit me. Like, shit. Like I was saying, when Bodak Yellow came out, when I started doing songs with G-Eazy and everything, I was going every single night doing shows because I got to promote my music. There has been DJs that used to shit on me, my nigga. They used to shit on me. DJs, they used to, I used to go to their office when I used to leave. Man, fuck her. This girl, she a stripper. She's an Instagram personality. She ain't never going to go nowhere. And you want to know something? When it was the right time, I had to swallow my pride. There's radio personalities that I had to, that were used to talk so much shit about me. I had to swallow my pride and still sit with them and still shake hands with them. Because at the end of the day, these are the people that's going to play my record. That's going to show love. I had to. So for people to always try to like every single time that I, I something that that my records, something is successful. Oh, they don't they don't have no excuse for it. So they try to blame it on my on, on my success on my on my label. That shit hurts me, my nigga. Especially because I be working my ass off. Yo, I have arguments with friends, with family. Arguments, arguments like oh. Cardi, you change. You don't spend time with us anymore. And it's just like, it hurts me when my family says that shit, when my friends think that shit, that I don't love them or I don't got, or I don't got time for them. And it's like, I don't have time for y'all because I really got to work. Because when it comes to this industry, one day you hot, the next day you don't. And I got to keep people attention. So I got to work. When I was pregnant, my nigga, I was pregnant. I was sick. I was dying. I was dying. 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 Every day I was throwing up. I felt so weak. I, I, yo, on my Rolling Stone shoe, I fainted on my man's arm. I fainted on his arm. I was like, babe, I feel real lightheaded. What's going on, babe? Boom, I fainted. Cause I, but I worked my ass off. Cause I worked my ass off to the last day. To the last day of my pregnancy. There's six songs that I couldn't even put on my album. Because. It, I, because. They didn't sound it good. Because my nose was extremely stuffy. I was so huffy. I couldn't. I didn't have the energy to finish it. And. All that hard work that I did. So people try to discredit my shit. That shit really hurts, my nigga. Give me one second, I won't lie. Who hated? Who hated? <laughs> who hated? Who hated? And, um. Who lying? Who lying? Who hated? Who hated? Stop. All right. And, um. Even to now, like, it's like. I had to cancel the Bruno. I had to cancel with Bruno Mars. Because. All right, Bruno Mars tour start like what in two weeks from now? Two weeks, one week from now. And when my thing is, when I when I go on tour, I want to give a whole full show. I want to be able to do choreography. I want to give you an amazing show. But right now, I just gave birth. I barely could bend down. I really can't bend down. So how the fuck am I supposed to do choreography? How? You know what I'm saying? And that shit, that shit really hurts me because I felt like I let Bruno Mars down. And, um, and I feel so bad for that because, like, when it comes to dripping and finesse, like, Bruno Mars hit me up to do that record. Like, he hit me up to do that record. And it's like, when he hit me up to do that record, I was like, yo, I can't believe a nigga like Bruno Mars want to do a record with me. And he opened, like, doors for me. And he opened, um, he, like, he opened doors for me. And he opened a brand new fan base. Because, you know, he has a different fan base for me. From me, from mine. You know, I'm a hip-hop, I'm a hip-hop artist. And he introduced me more to the pop artist. So, I was just so thankful that he wanted to do a record with me. So, you know. I thought I thought I was gonna be able like yes do the tour do touring him, and it's like when I gave birth, 
I was like, wow, I can't, I can't, like, my body's not capable of doing it. Like, it's just not capable of doing it right now. And then it's just like, um, I thought I was going to be able to have my baby on the tour bus. It's like, okay, my baby's not going to be able to fly, but I could have her on the tour bus and everything. And then the doctor said, like, it can't, like, it can't happen. And it's like, I can't break away from my baby. But it's like, even though I can't do the tour, I'm still working my ass off. Every night, I be feeling like, every night when I got to go to the studio, I just be so sad because it's like, damn, I really want to be here with my daughter. But I don't have no time to waste. Because I have fans waiting for new music from me. I already took four different business flights. And every single time that I take these flights, I be crying. Crying to my mom. Crying to my sister. Because it's like, oh my gosh, I guess I got to want to be away from my daughter. But I got to work. I got to work. I have to work because I got to feed my child and because I have family employed and I have to, I have to pay them. And even when like, like even when my, they not working because I'm not, I'm not moving around. I still got to pay people. I got to make that money. Look, so it's just like, how can people discredit everything that I have worked hard for? Because y'all don't know why people love me, why people support me. I got 93, 94 fucking thousand viewers watching me right now. I can't buy that. I can't buy that the general public listen, like my music. Matter of fact, matter of fact, like when it came to when it comes to I like it, when it comes to I like it, I really slept on that record. From my album, I thought that um I thought that um Be Careful with Me was gonna be like my big record. Um I thought that um uh, Ring was gonna be one of my biggest record, but it's not what people think, it's what you guys pick. You guys pick, I like it. I can't I can't help what people like, I can't help what people listen to. That was the last, and matter of fact, that was the last video that I shot. Because I didn't know that that was going to be the record that the general public liked. And that's what you guys supported. And it's not my fault that people support my music. So every single time that my records climb up the charts, that shit, that shit really breaks my heart. When I see people be like, oh, your, your label be buying your, 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 your success. No, you can't buy success. You can't buy people your love and that's and that's one thing you can't buy that you can't buy people fuck with you period period that's something that i learned i'm sick of that shit like i'm sick of it sick of it i can't buy i can't buy people i can't buy people listening to uh, jamming my songs on arenas you can't buy that shit. You can't buy that. You can't buy love. You can't buy that. You can't buy people's love. And that's one thing that I think I was born with. I was born with a good spirit. I was born with people loving me. It's not my fault. I got a great personality. I. It's not my fault when I meet people. I make people want to fuck with me. I make people want to love me. And I go and I meet anybody that I have to work with, anything. People be like, you know what? I really like this girl. Because it's like I treat people with decency. My mom, that's, what, that's how my mom raised me. There's been times that I know y'all see me bugging out on fans and everything. Because they be irking me. But when I, when I meet people... I treat people with respect. And that's why people fuck with me. That's why people support me. I treat them with respect. I can't, I can't, I can't buy that. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry that people, people love me. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna feel bad, or I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna feel bad, or I'm not gonna make people dis uh, discredit my shit. I work hard for this shit. Work hard for this shit. I has. I have lost friends. I have. I have families been mad at me because I have. I didn't attend their daughter's birthday party, or I couldn't attend their birthday. Because why? I have to work. Cause I gotta promote my shit. I'm not gonna feel bad for that. I'm not gonna make people make me feel like I don't deserve this shit. On my on my worst time on my, on my worst times, I have to still get up and work. If, work. If you could buy the public, why they can't buy? It? Why they don't buy it? That's my thing. Why they, they got? If, why they don't buy it? that's that's my thing. That's my thing. It's people that got more money than you. There's people, you there's people that got more money than me. There's artists but that got more money than me. Why I'm can't they buy? Why money. can't they buy their position on the charts? Why? 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 They got, there's people that why? Got money than there's people that got more money than me. There's, there's label. There, there, there's more label. Not why can't they buy their position on the chart? Cause you can't you buy can't that buy shit. That. So you can't buy that yeah. shit. Period. I think I'm the third member. I'm the. I feel like I'm the third member of the City Girls with the period shit. I really can't. I really. I really. You can't buy that. That's it. Stop looking for excuses. All the haters need to stop looking for excuses. You can't buy it. Simple. What you trying to tell me? That God ain't real. So working hard for your dreams ain't real. Or is it gotta be bought? That's ridiculous. That's that's absurd. That's it. Period. You can't buy that. They'll stop worrying about you. They didn't worry about themselves. Shit is so, that shit is so annoying, bro. Anyways, what's up? We, y'all, we out to New York. <laughs> y'all? We'll be over here. We'll come back. Shit is so crazy, bro. Like, I feel, that shit is so crazy that I feel like every single day, I gotta deal with that shit. Shit is so crazy. People really try to strip down my success, my nigga. That shit drives me nuts because I know how hard I work for this shit. I know, I know everything that I had to sacrifice. It's like that shit was so easy. Why, pe why, uh, why there's not other people buying their shit uh, to the way to the top to the charts? Why? There's so many people under my label. Why they not up there on the charts? There's so many other label record labels. Why they cannot buy their artists to, all, all the way to the charts? Because you can't buy that shit. You just can't. Period. And I, and I'm so sick and tired of keeping my mouth shut. Because it's like I'm not gonna entertain bullshit. I'm not gonna entertain bullshit. Like it's like I'm too grown. I'm too grown. I be arguing with people on the, on, on, on the comments. Because it's just like, it's annoying. There's people that just be saying the annoying shit. But it's like, you know, little by little, it be slowing me down. It slows me down. Because it's like, I, I just got so much other things to worry about. And it's just like, I try not to pay attention to a lot of shit. Because I'm not going to let my mind drive me crazy. I'm not going to let my inner peace drive me crazy. I'm not. But it's just like, yo, I got to fucking address certain shit. Because I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Period. Shit is so crazy, bro. But it's okay because I got one thing about me. One thing about me. Yeah, I do a lot of.